super quick uh, video on the scales that I've sent to you, okay? So I'm just going to show you the finger positions for them uh, pretty quickly. I won't go over too much uh, talking wise uh, with the scales because I've sent you on the theory behind them or parts of the theory, not all of it, obviously. So we're going to start off uh, with the harmonic uh, minor scale. So we're going to do that in A, okay? So you want to go uh, fifth fret on the E string, starting off with your index finger. Uh, by the way, I have this bass uh, tuned down a full step, so I'm on the seventh fret, but you'll be going on the five, all right? So you just, if you're doing uh, numbers for your fingers, so one, two, three, four, like that, you're going one, three, four, one, three, four, two, three. So that's the different note there to your normal uh, minor scale. It's the uh, seven, so it has a major seven. Uh, instead of the flat seven like would be which are normal uh, minor scale and if you want to hear the normal minor scale so that's the, that's the main difference there you, you hear it um also the, there's a mode related to this that i sent you on it's called the phrygian dominant it's the fifth uh, mode in that scale so they will sound similar enough I'm going to do that in E because I, I, I tend to like it in E. So you'd start with the 7th fret on the A string or the 12th fret on the E string if you prefer. I like to do it on the A string. So there's two ways really to play the scale. There would, there's not really two ways to play the other one or well there is but eh, you know you don't really need to know too many fingerings for that uh, for the harmonic uh, minor scale. But for this it's a little bit of a weird scale, so I'm going to show you two fingerings for it instead of just the one, all right? So you're starting off on the seventh fret on the E string, and you're going two, three, one, one. So you're actually sliding half a step, all right? So if you want, uh, you, you have the uh, tab to go along with it, but I'm just going to say it anyway. So you're going seven, eight for two, three with the fingers, but that that's your uh, that's your frets seven, eight. And then you're going uh, six, seven, like that. And then you go uh, from there, three, four, one, three. Like I said, very Egyptian sounding. And then the other uh, way of playing that is if you start it, instead of on your second finger, start it on your third finger and go three four two three a slight shift up and then one two and then do a bit of a stretch here to uh, the seventh fret so then the night just a little bit thrown <laughs> so you're gone scale because of the shift you don't really need to shift with most of the scales that i've been showing you so far but that one is an exception because it's just a little bit of a weird one so remember what i said about this scale uh it's dominant because it has a major uh chord but it has a minor seven so that's what classifies a dominant chord so that's the thing lots of lots of weird chords in that uh in that scale nice weird chords i like uh there's augmented there's uh diminished all sorts and then the last scale is the uh, melodic minor and this is a this is an, again another weird one but uh, as far as the notes are concerned there's only one different note to this for a normal major scale and that is that it has a minor three in it so if we were to play it in uh, c for example um, the only different note here is the tour that will have the flat three um, so you have c d Flat. And then E again, or sorry, not, not E, F. So you're going one, three, one, three, four, one, three, and then a sl slight shift. And 
and also this scale can uh, go back down or descend differently so you can go classical players sometimes like to descend an aeolian i'm not going to go too much into that either but that's just so you know for it so those are all the three scales there right i'll go over them in more detail in the lessons